guys, how you all doing? Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you something just a little bit different, as you may be able to tell by my current surroundings. And a lot of you probably don't know, but I'm very much into my carp fishing. Now, it's a catch and release type fishing, because a lot of people always ask that question. And it's really just kind of, I don't know, I guess it's sort of hunting, it's leisure, you're out with your friends, it's just a kind of social thing to do. Plus, I like being outside uh, in such beautiful locations as we're in now. Now, this place that I'm in at the moment is called Etang de Londres. Uh, it's our favourite carp fishing venue in France. And I'm out here at the moment with three of my friends. I've bought all of my video recording equipment because I quite like to take little vlogs and videos and get some of the nice kind of surroundings and, and just capture all of our journey on tape not tape, SD card, whatever you want to call it. And um, then I can watch it back at a later date and enjoy it again. But for this video, I figured I would bring you guys a kind of tour of all of the stuff that I bring with me when I come on these kind of trips. And as you can see, it's quite a few bags. In fact, you can't see, but there's one, two, three, four bags plus obviously the camera that I'm recording on at the moment. So I'm not gonna go through in great detail, but I'll just give you an idea of some of the things that I bring with me on these trips. And if you wanna see some further coverage of this kind of stuff, leave a comment below or hit the like button and I'll bring you these videos a little bit more if you'd like to see them. Anyway, so first up, let's go through this one first. This is the smallest. So this is my Canon 1DX Mark II, and I use this for all of my photography and also some of my video as well and I've just got it recently. It is my most prized possession along with the C300 Mark II. And I'm using this bag, this is a low pro bag. I can't remember the exact model of the bag, but it's one that will facilitate a telephoto lens, the 70 to 200 telephoto lens, which is typically what I would have on it uh, when it's in this bag. Although recently I've just uh, swapped it over to, for something else. The exact model I don't know, but I will leave links down in the video description to all of this stuff. So if you want to pick it up, uh, you can check out those links in the description. So it's a fairly decent sized bag, I guess you can see. Uh, like I say, it's meant for a, a kind of pro size DSLR or a normal size DSLR with a battery uh, grip that could essentially put it up to the same sort of size. And if we open it up, in fact, let's open the top bit here. The first thing I always carry with me is this. This is uh, the Rode Video Micro and it's just a tiny little, ca uh, sorry camera, a tiny little microphone with a three and a half millimeter connector and also comes with a dead cat as well to put over it to stop the wind noise and a little bracket as well. And you can see that once you've actually fitted it all in place, it's actually a really tiny little unit, which is great because it's nice and small to carry and it gives you some great audio quality as well. And you can just simply plug that into any DSLR or video camera that you would like to and you're gonna get some nice audio quality. And like I say, this dead cat will block out most of the wind as well. So that's a great little mic, nice and cheap as well. Great price on that and works fantastically well. And then here we go. This is my Canon. 1DX Mark II and at the moment I've got the famous 11 to 24 lens on it because I've been doing some nice kind of landscape shots right at that ultra wide uh, 11 millimeters. Uh, it's only f4 so not the greatest for sort of low light conditions but for everything else wide this is about as wide as it goes and it's rectilinear as well so you don't get any of the kind of fisheye effect it keeps everything nice and straight. Uh, and, and just is a great lens, ridiculously sharp as well, right the way through the range. And just look at that element on the front of it. That is absolutely outrageous. It's very, very heavy. And the lens cap is massive as well. But yeah, that's my 1DX Mark II. I use this for all my photos and also for a lot of video as well. The microphone, as you can see, just simply goes on there. And then you come around to the side here and just plug it nicely into that socket and you get a real nice kind of compact little video setup and this this camera is not only probably the best stills camera on the market along with the Nikon D5 but also a very very capable video camera this will record 4k at up to 60 frames a second which is in fact more than my C300 Mark II will do so that's quite impressive so that is my 1DX Mark II and that little camera bag there I've also got some little memory cards in there and various other bits and pieces as well. So to put that back, just goes in there nice and easy, real nice fit. <laughs> and then that just goes in the top of the bag there. And this is a real nice camera bag. Uh, it's got lots of different kind of ways to 
carry it as well. It's got all different kinds of straps and you can put them in all different uh, types of organization. You can have them going across here or you can have it going around your waist and you can have it really tight to you or loose. It's completely up to you. So that is the camera. Now, I've already given you a tour of this. This is my Ogeo or Ogeo. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Um, and this is the RSS 17 backpack. Now, if you want to see a full detailed tour of this and what I typically carry around with me, then check out the video that I did before. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. And it kind of covered most of the stuff that I, that I carry around in this bag. But to briefly show you again, here in the front section, uh, for this particular trip, because we're out in the wilderness, I've got loads and loads of anchor battery packs, which is very, very important, obviously, to make sure you've always got power. Also, I have this, another little microphone from Rode. This is the Rode VideoMic ME, and this one is actually for smartphones. So you can plug this into a smartphone and it gives you great quality audio, which is really, really nice. Much, much better than the inbuilt audio. I've also got in here the Apple Pencil. Everything's a little bit unorganized at the moment. Uh, I've got some spare cables in there, a whole bunch of micro USB cables. And then in addition to that, I've also got this, which is the Citrix X1 mouse. And if you wanna know what that does, I've done a video on it, so check that out on my channel uh, and you can, you can find it if you just search. In addition to that, I've also got a couple of things in here. This is a photo fast adapter and this is lightning to USB but this actually has 64 gigabytes of storage built into it so if you want to transfer stuff from your phone to your computer uh, or you just want to maybe watch videos and you don't have much storage on your iPad or your computer or you want to share between the two this tiny little cable not only charges and does synchronization but it's also got 64 gigabytes of storage built into it which is fantastic additionally I've got this tiny little Joby uh, mount for phones so you can put this on a tripod and put your phones in it nice and easy very very cheap and it takes up minimal space as well so I like that and uh, anything else in there I've also got this as well this is a little plug adapter it's the UK plug socket but because the UK plug is quite big they've come up with this little thing so you can just simply do that and it folds down into a nice compact size which is which is great so that's basically the front compartment there so if we go into the next compartment here now I've got this which was actually a freebie uh, from a kind of work type thing and uh, this is literally just one of those marketing things and it's just a first aid kit obviously we're out and about in the in the wilderness so potentially we could need that I've got the 9.7 inch iPad Pro here in gold of course so yeah that's looking great does the job perfectly and in fact I've got a really nice little bracket that enables you to mount that on anything so you can clamp it onto a desk or a sideboard in my case I do it on my bivy in my in my tent if you want to call it that uh, and it connects up nicely to my bed chair so I can lay in bed and I don't have to hold the iPad it's just sitting there uh, mounted all by itself and that's made by best tech I think they're called but again I'll leave a link to that down in the video description now up the top here is just a whole entirety of cables and connectors and also my holo clip lens as well which goes on the iPhone 6s or 6 and gives you kind of wide angle and it gives you a little bit of tele zoom as well uh, which is nice. So loads and loads of cables in there. Up the top here you've got a really hard uh, little place to put all of your glasses in if you want to. It's a real kind of protected area. Nice and hard in there. So you can put stuff in there that's maybe delicate and you don't have to worry about it too much. Now round on this side pocket here I carry this phone at the moment. This is the Ligu Shark S1 and it's just an Android phone. It's a budget Android phone from China, but it's got a 6,300 milliamp hour battery in it, which is great when you're kind of out and about and you don't want to have to worry about your battery running out. This is just a nice phone to take with you. It's got a 1080p screen, ridiculously cheap. And again, I've done a review on that if you want to check that out for yourselves. Round on this side here, I've got my uh, Jaybird wireless earphones as well in there, X2s I believe they are. And then if we come around to this main section, the first thing I've got is this, and this is the Samsung uh, Gear VR camera. So this little thing can record in full 
360 degree video for virtual reality or 360 degree video so that's really really cool and I brought that with me because I wanted to do some 360 degree video recording. Next up um, I've got my black rapid strap for my camera which is just a kind of improved uh, shoulder strap. Additionally in here I've got my Oppo HA2 DAC portable DAC and also my Oppo PM3 headphones which is my favorite audio combination sounds perfect and then in addition to that I've also got this tiny little speaker here this particular one is from uh, kit sound who makes some great great gear and it's just a tiny little portable USB uh, or Bluetooth speaker it's got NFC it's got three five millimeter headphone uh, in and out and it lasts a long long time as well and I like to bring it because uh, in case you want to kind of all gather around an iPad to maybe watch the uh, football at the moment we've got the Euros going on or something like that and it's got a nice little case so you can just pack that away nicely in there so that is the internals of that bag and the last thing that's on this particular bag round on the back here I've got my 15 inch 2016 Retina MacBook Pro. So, that is that bag now out of the way. Let's just put that down to one side. Now this bag here, this is a new addition to my collection. This is called a Temba Rody 2 shoulder bag. And this is specifically designed for video cameras. Uh, almost specifically for the C300 Mark II. I can put the C300 in this bag and the actual thing will fit in here fully loaded with a lens, with the actual holder, the grip uh, and everything else, no problem whatsoever. And it's very well protected, nice and easy to carry. It's a bit like a bowling ball bag, I suppose. Now in the side pocket here, you've got loads and loads and loads of space. Uh, I usually carry like the microphones and stuff like that or batteries in there got another side pocket here which I actually carry these little Lexar units and again I showed you this the other day the great thing about this Lexar system the workflow system is you can take these little modules out of your dock and just take them with you if you need them so I've just bought some card readers with me there and some spare cards as well all from Lexar and then around on this side here let's have a look what we've got in here I've just got some bits and pieces for my DJI Osmo, which I use for a whole bunch of different shots, but it's great for putting on the front of your car, believe it or not, and getting some of those kind of time lapses as you're coming through some of the beautiful French roads. And it's got this great little suction unit that you can just literally stamp on the front of your car, or the top, or the back, or in the side if you want to. And you can get some really nice shots, and because it's got the gimbal all built into it and 4K, it comes out very, very nice indeed. Now, this is the main section here. Again, really quick and easy to get access to. Uh, all Velcroed and zipped. First off, you get this little top carrier that just slot, that just sits in the top here. Again, all padded. And in here, I have the battery chargers and the spare batteries for the C300 Mark II and the 1DX Mark II as well. Additionally, I have got a flash for my 1DX Mark II, just a little Canon Speedlight flash. And then we come on to my lenses. So the first lens here, one of my favorite lenses actually, this is the Sigma 105 2.8 and this is a macro lens. So this thing you can get real tight into like insects and pretty much anything you want. This will go very, very close indeed. It's a it's a one-to-one -one lens so it will go extremely close and it's also got optical image stabilization as well so you get great photos and great video at slower shutter speeds. Next up, one of my favorite lenses, this is the Canon 70-200 2 the version 2 uh, model and this is a 2.8 right the way through the range extremely heavy but the photos and the video that come out of this are just so phenomenal uh, I'll probably put some up as I'm talking about it on the screen now but they just come out spectacularly nice and it gives me that kind of telephoto range as well next up here we've got the 24 to 105 which is actually not a lens that I'm not particularly a fan of but it's got IS built into it and it's quite a useful range, 24 to 105. So I always carry it with me uh, just in case I need it. And it's great for handheld because it's got that image stabilization. And last but not least, my f well, it was my favorite lens before I got the 11 to 24, but this is the 50 millimeter 1.2. This 
particular lens with the 1.2 aperture you can literally record in the dark. It is so wide open at 1.2 that it lets in so much light, it's phenomenal for low light situations. Uh, not too bad for portrait and in this particular situation we use it for taking photos of the fish for example when we're holding them so you get some real nice shots with that. Uh, round on the other side here it's got a, like a, a kind of envelope section and you can actually fit a 15 inch laptop in here as well so that is nice but in here I keep the 12 inch iPad Pro with the iCarbon's skin on the back of it. I think that looks great. Uh, nice and light and you can use that obviously like a normal computer. And in fact in there as well, I've also got the keyboard as well, the, the iPad keyboard, the ridiculously priced iPad keyboard. So all in all, really, really impressed with this bag. This is actually a really expensive bag. It comes in at uh, quite a high price point. But I managed to pick this up off of eBay secondhand for about 25% of the cost. So really, really pleased uh, with this purchase. And yeah, it's working great. Comes with a waterproof cover as well. Now, last but not least is this. And in fact, I mean, I won't even go into showing you this, but this is the DJI uh, Phantom 4 drone and I love taking this out and about with me you can just get shots that you couldn't obviously get with any kind of other camera it's fantastic it's great fun people are always interested in it and ask questions about it and uh, it comes in this nice kind of backpack that I've bought as well that you can just put over your shoulders and then you open it up and inside is everything all nicely laid out as you can see hopefully there yeah, and that's great. A couple of spare batteries, some spare blades, the handset, uh, and everything that you would need to fly the drone. And what I like to do on these trips is get some nice video footage together, and then in future months or years, I can obviously watch them back with my friends, and we can go back over some really good times that we've had whilst we're out in these locations. As you can see, this is a truly beautiful location we love carp fishing, we all enjoy it very, very much. And yeah, it's overall just a nice time really. I'll probably leave you with some footage at the end just to show you around the place and show you some of the stuff that we've been doing while we've been here, show you some of the, the fish that we've caught as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different and it's very, very long as well, but I wanted to do it just to bring you some coverage. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, you want me to bring you more of this kind of personal type stuff, then uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, make sure you hit that like button for me and I will see you in the next one. See ya. Video in mate. <laughs> Go on, put it back now.
wish we had a video. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!